Hello, my name is Sakari Lehtinen. Let's continue on getting started with SimpleBIM by reviewing and exporting the final edited file back to IFC. We will also add the model author and license information to it. If you're not already watching inside the SimpleBIM, please get your free trial now from www.datacubist.com. In any professional communication, the document is carefully reviewed before it's shared with other professionals. Export preview in SimpleBIM lets you do just that. This is the what you see is what you get view. The 3D will show you only the objects and the property palette only the properties that will be included to the final exchange file. Now let's go through all the object types and their properties needed by our targeted task. A nice visualization trick is to use the isolation mode. Or you can use selection with host as we used in the property editor tutorial. I stick in the isolation mode for now. Click on wall objects in the model objects palette. Note that all the wall properties are automatically shown in the property palette. Check the wall construction types. Now click on spaces and check their space names. If you find an error, go back to other workspace and fix it. To practice the reviewing, go through all the other included object types and their included properties. When you are confident that only the needed data is included, that the included data is valid and it can be trusted, then it's time to add the final touch to the file. Click on the author and license button. Exchanging PIM has to be business. To make it business, it's not enough that the product, the exchange file, is good. You need to know the cost and resources it takes to create it, and you need to know the value the file provides to its users. Finally, the legal liability and monal ownership issues need also to be in order. When targeting the model to a specific task, all this comes much easier. The cost is roughly the time you use to edit the file. The value is defined by the targeted task, like energy analysis. You manage your rights to the model by restricting the context, use, users and validity period of the model. All the data input here is included in the final IFC file. Fill in at least the author and the authorized uses data and click OK to close the dialog. Note that also this data can be defined in templates. So you don't have to enter the data manually every time. When you are ready, click on the happy green button, choose a file location and export the final, edited, well-defined, reliable and valuable PIM exchange file back to IFC. Let's take a look on the file size. It's now 90% smaller than the original one. And we haven't lost anything. Instead, we have made the data more reliable. We have targeted the data to a specific task, energy analysis, and thus greatly increased its value. Super, huh? And you can do the same trick for any targeted task. Manually or by using the templates, like this. I re-import the model. And apply a custom template to it. I just did all the manual edits we done so far in few seconds. The template included only the objects and properties I need. It even took away the cross areas automatically. It mapped the properties to correct places, gave the properties names I can understand in my own language, and replaced some values with correct ones, and even added the author and license information to the file. Here's the original model in EDI's energy analysis application. For example, the space names and construction types are totally unreliable. 
and he has the edited one. It loaded 10 times faster, and the data can be trusted. The simulation based on the BIM exchange runs, and in the end, highly valuable information is created to support decision making in the construction project. That's it. Thank you for your interest on Simple BIM. You should now be ready to try editing an IFC file of your own. Remember to target your model to a specific task. That is the key to professional BIM exchange. Here we edited an exchange file for EDI's energy analysis. But you might want to start by doing it for example for glass detection or even by creating a template of your own. Please make sure you check the other tutorials on our website or on our SimpleBIM YouTube channel. See you next time.